Forecast, independently certified, the most accurate in Central Kentucky. Chief Meteorologist Jason Myers back with us now. 2017 will go out cold. 2018 will come in even colder. Yeah, you know, it has been cold over the past couple of days, but can you believe it? It is going to be even colder as we get closer to New Year's Day. In fact, if you're out at times earlier this afternoon, you may have even seen a couple snow flurries. Most of the activity really stayed along into the north of I-64. And as you can see right now, we're not looking at much activity at all. But when there were a couple snow flurries from earlier. Three-hour time lapse showed where we had just maybe a couple of those light snow flurries mainly moving across the northern parts of the viewing area. As look at your Fort Bain sky view from downtown Lexington right now. Rather quiet, no snow flurry or snow shower activity at this time. But yes, the big story is just the cold temperatures outside of right now. It's 24 in Flemingsburg to 26 in Lexington, 27 degrees right now for Richmond. So our temperatures for the most part, mid to upper 20s across the local viewing area. It's 30 degrees for Harlan, mid 20s right now from Pineville to 22 degrees from Monticello. So off to the south, cold temperatures as well. Tomorrow morning, we actually start off in the lower 20s early. As the day goes on, we'll have high temperatures around 28 degrees. That will probably be reached by the late morning or mid afternoon hours. And then later in the afternoon, our temperatures actually cool into the low to mid 20s. So by about 5 o'clock, we'll be around 25 degrees. But the wind Winds will also be increasing through the afternoon, so even though our temperatures may be in the mid-20s, we'll see our wind chill close to about 10 degrees. So that's what it will actually feel like when you factor in wind gusts at times around 20 miles per hour. Again, a lot of cloud cover all across the Commonwealth right now. We've had a little bit more snow passing to our north from Illinois into Indiana and Ohio. That, for the most part, is moving out of the area. We've had a cold front moving into the region even this evening. So as we look at your future cast here from midnight into our early morning hours, cloudy skies to wake up Saturday morning. As the day goes on, we stay Stay mostly cloudy here from 12 noon into our later afternoon, but we may see a little bit more breaks in the cloud cover, maybe a little breaks of sunshine by late in the afternoon. Highs around 28 degrees for your Saturday afternoon. Overnight Saturday into Sunday morning, we'll see morning low temperatures on Sunday for your New Year's Eve start off in the single digits as the day goes on under partly to mostly cloudy skies. High temperatures only reach 20 degrees for your New Year's Eve Sunday. In fact, overnight Sunday night into Monday, we're looking at temperatures back into the single digits. For tonight, again, 21 degrees. Temperatures really don't go up much for Saturday, a high of 28 degrees. A few snow flurries still possible, a little windy at times through the afternoon. That will make it feel even colder throughout your weekend. You can see how it cools down even more for your Sunday. New Year's Eve, 20 degrees, upper teens for your high. On Monday for New Year's Day, we bring in 2018 with a high of only 17 degrees. Seven day forecast showing upper 20s on Saturday. Hard to believe that is the warmest high temperature of your seven day forecast. 20 degrees on Sunday for New Year's Eve. New Year's Day, Monday, 17, even colder. Tuesday, more sunshine with a high of only 16 degrees and then low to mid 20s as we go through mid to late part of next week. But overall, a drier seven day forecast is just bitterly cold. Well, it is cold and seeing that one degree for an overnight yeah. low, mm, that puts it in perspective. We will have the latest on fires in Georgetown.